Okay, so what is the mechanism of this reaction? Well, we have our starting materials, which is an alkyne and hydrogen bromide. So that is going to be a hydrohalogenation of an alkyne reaction. Step number one in this reaction is going to be an electrophilic attack from our hydrogen halide onto our triple bond, forming the corresponding carbocationic intermediate. And per Markovnikov rule, we are going to form a more stable, more substituted carbocation here, which is going to be a secondary carbocation. And while there is quite some evidence that we are actually not forming carbocations in this reaction, this is the way this reaction is taught in pretty much every single course I've ever seen, so we'll just roll with that. Now, the next step here is going to be the nucleophilic attack from our Br- onto this carbocation, giving us the following monobrominated alkene. But we are not quite done, because we are going to bring another equivalent of our HBr and do another attack from this HBr onto our now double bond, making another secondary carbocation over here, which, despite the fact that it is next to a tertiary position over here, is not going to rearrange, because the bromine that we already have sitting over here can stabilize that carbocation via resonance, giving us the following structure. So, there is really no reason for any kind of carbocation rearrangements. We're already pretty stable here. And the only thing that is left for us is for the Br- to do another nucleophilic attack over here, giving us our final product. Pretty cool, right? 